These works are a crime in her country. In her latest exhibition, Kabul-born artist Kubra Kademi highlights the sexuality of women and the power of the female identity, with free and liberated bodies performing heroic acts that were previously reserved only for men. Généralement, mon travail dans le centre, il a le corps de femme. Je ne le dis pas nous, je ne dis pas. Ils sont du coco de corps. Le centre de euh, toutes les problématiques pour moi, ça c'est le corps de femme. It's an issue particularly present in Afghanistan, where women's bodies remain taboo. In 2015, to denounce the harassment suffered by millions of Afghan women, Kubra wandered around Kabul wearing an armoured bodysuit that exaggerated her breasts and buttocks. The performance earned her death threats and drove her into exile. Today, as a French citizen, Kubra continues to raise awareness about the situation in her home country through her art. Here, she decorates these tunics, a symbol of the fighters who have been battling conflicts for several decades in Afghanistan. But these works are mostly inspired by the activism of Afghan women who resist against the Taliban. Que j'ai renommé cet cet endroit au nom de femmes qui sont qui se battent sans armes, avec rien, mais avec le slogan de du pas, d'éducation et la liberté, mais face à face aux Taliban, les terroristes. They're women who are erased from the public space, who fight to exist at the risk of their own lives. But the women won't let them go, because there's nothing for them. There's no hope. They won't stop. Until there's a voice, they will liberate their voice. But I know that it's going to cost a lot. We've already lost a lot, 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 a lot. From France and on her many travels, Kubra continues to fight for women. In 2020, more than 2 million Afghans were forced to flee as refugees.